We have just arrived at a place that was a prison once upon a time, but has now been converted into a museum. Peterhead Convict Prison was built around 1888. It was designed to hold 208 prisoners and was then Scotland's only convict prison for prisoners sentenced to hard labour. By the way, did you know? Until the opening of Peterhead Convict Prison, Scottish convicts were transported to England to serve their sentences. Today we're in the grounds of the former Peterhead Prison. This prison housed some of the country's most violent prisoners. It closed in 2013 uh, and a new prison has been built close by. The prison now has been turned into uh, a museum, which is well, well worth a visit. It documents the prison system in Peterhead from the point of view of the prison warders. But you get to see the cells that the former inmates lived in and how both the warders and inmates had to conduct their life inside. On arrival at the museum, you get a headset and then you are away on a self-guided audio tour that takes you round and tells you what you are looking at. The tour takes normally about one and a half hours, but you can spend as long as you want and examine the former prison in detail. Peterhead Prison Museum sits in a six acre site and visitors walk through 125 years of history from 1888 to 2013 when the prison closed to be replaced by the new HMP Grampian. It reopened to the public in 2016 as the museum. The tour takes you to the former cell blocks, courtroom, punishment block, prison kitchen, former inmates barbershop, laundry, shower block, hospital areas, exercise yard, outdoor exercise areas including a pent in football pitch, halls and corridors, and much, much more. Peterhead Prison hit the headlines in 1987 when the inmates broke out of their cells and took control of a prison wing, a riot that lasted five days and needed the SAS to intervene with smoke bombs and stun guns to restore order. One of the most exciting and daring criminals in Scottish prison history Johnny Ramansky spent many years as a prisoner here. Though a career criminal, Ramansky received the nickname Gentle Johnny as he never used violence when being apprehended by the police. Two songs have been penned in Johnny's honour. His legend lives on in Scottish folklore as the ultimate likeable rogue. HMP Peterhead was also a specialist centre for sex offenders. There are a few cells that document life inside Scotland's former prison for sex offenders. In 2016, Peterhead Prison was used as a filming location for the 2018 British zombie horror action film Redcon 1. Once inside the museum, you step back in time and hear how life was within these walls in the voices of ex-prison staff who worked within the former Victorian prison. At the end of the tour, you can visit the V Refuge Cafe for a refreshing cup of tea and a tasty bite. Definitely recommend a visit to this one. Uh, there's a lot to learn in Peterhead Prison. From my perspective, I thought the uh, one interesting fact was that people who considered themselves to be political prisoners, uh, f whether it was Glasgow socialists from many years ago or people who had been involved with the Irish Troubles, were 
housed in and imprisoned here in beside the most violent criminals in the country. And I, um, that, but you yourself, when you visit, will find different things that interest you, I'm sure. Did you enjoy your visit? Yeah, it certainly was quite educational for me to learn about the prison systems uh, in Scotland, where we were so many years ago and where we are today. And what about you, Helena? Oh, well, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was an eye-opener. Definitely Indeed, an was, eye-opener to was, see how they lived yeah. and the conditions that they lived in, mm-hmm. that they managed, but mm-hmm. very sad as well. Yeah. What a yeah. thought-provoking yeah. things, isn't yeah. it? What about you? Yeah, you... but it's good that they've turned the prison into a museum because it's uh, for, that, for the future generations to learn, definitely. you know, how, mm-hmm. how how the prison system was in, in 20th century. And mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. It, it's going to be like it'll... part of our history, you know. Do you think it will put people off crime? I hope so. Yeah. It's you... worth a visit. Yeah, so absolutely. You should subscribe to your channel. Yes, please comment. subscribe to our YouTube channel, Skoristani. And if you get a chance, what do uh, folk need to do? They need to... Comment, comment mm-hmm. on on the channel. Yeah, and uh-huh. like and share.